If you haven't heard the latest PSYOP floating around, revolving that guy with the island, you know, the one that conveniently just appeared as if nobody had noticed it in the last 20 or 30 years, it's this giant blue temple out in the open where you could see it from a boat. Nobody actually saw it and was like, what is that? That looks really strange. Of course, this PSYOP is one of the bigger PSYOPs we've seen over the years, and it somehow has continued year after year after year and gained more momentum. And people out there, I guess they get so caught up in being a sleuth or thinking that something is going to occur that they invest their emotions so heavily into things like this. But this is clearly a government PSYOP. The latest is Doe 174. So if you haven't heard, these people are digging through this controlled government leak that they just decided to leak to everybody. Nobody thinks to themselves, well, you know, if this was really going on and these people were really involved, wouldn't they just cover it up, right? You know, you ever hear about the JFK situation and how still, all these years later, nothing has been leaked on that, that the government just has the ability to cover up all those files? Yet, when it comes to this story, and it comes to all the prominent people in power, there's just some good guys that are letting it leak out, right? As if the court systems actually... Are, are going to like give this information out to the public as if these people would actually ever end up in court. And of course, they don't because these things are not real. They don't give us anything that is real. But what they do give you is a never ending rabbit hole so people could go down it. And what you're seeing here is like I mentioned days ago with Doe 174, which is the latest thing, is you're seeing people trying to point fingers at the other political opponent. That's all it is. Right, So when they come out with this stuff and they release J Doe 174, you see people defending Donald Trump and you see other people saying it's Donald Trump and you see other people saying it's really Jimmy Kimmel. And this goes back and forth and all these people try to decode and figure out who is who. And then the reality of the matter is like I've mentioned over and over again, if this is really occurring, which it is, what should happen is these people should be taken care of by the civilians. No courts, no trials, right? But what's happening here is a distraction from the real issues where these things really do occur, which is underground, which like the story you heard in New York City, which has not made national news yet, is that underneath temples, underneath churches, there are tunnels, just like the McMartin situation, where this stuff does occur. And yes, there's a chance that people can find these things, but most of the time, just like in New York, they attempt to fill these tunnels up and then make new tunnels in case something actually does happen where people find out. Because the way people react to these things is they don't wait for the police to show up. They don't wait for a court or a trial. They take things into their own hands, and that's the way things should be dealt with when it comes to this matter. Now, in this situation... What should really be occurring are mass arrests, if this was real, mass trials. But just like the, like I mentioned in regards to the laptop situation, nothing ends up happening. And you just keep complaining. You keep hoping that these people that you supposedly elect are going to do something about it. And what have they shown you over the last 10 years or so? They don't do anything about it. They just gaslight you every single day. And these people continue to believe that this system is set up for us. Now, eventually... This whole system's going to implode on purpose by design. People will grow infuriated with it, and I believe that's what this PSYOP is headed towards. So, Doe 174 is trending all over Twitter, and of course, mainstream media outlets are talking about it, and that's how we know. Of course, not them saying that the whole thing is make-believe or anything like that. You have CNN, Business Insider, all these mainstream media outlets covering Doe 174, trying to figure out themselves who it really is, politicizing it, Right? In other times, in other situations, usually what they'll do is just say it's completely fake and dismiss it, right? That's what they'll usually do. So they're giving attention to these things. They're talking about Doe 174. And then, of course, they're working the audience out there to try to figure out who it actually is. So here's an article from Business Insider about Doe 174. And again, for those of you that don't understand, Doe 174 is a name that showed up in these documents, which the name hasn't been revealed yet. So everybody wants it to be somebody. The liberals want it to be Trump. The conservatives want it to be Biden or Jimmy Kimmel or someone else they can't stand. And at the end of the day, you don't hear anybody caring about children, having these acts stop with children, talking about the connections to the satanic covens and cults, Aleister Crowley's teachings, etc. You don't hear that. You just hear this politicized. And that's part of the problem because it ends up normalizing it. Because when people actually care more about protecting Donald Trump instead of saying, hey, you know what? This could be Donald Trump. Donald Trump does, isn't a lot of pictures of them. It shows you how wrapped up they are in this entire thing. They're so wrapped up in it that they're overlooking the fact that this guy is in thousands of photographs with the guy who's supposedly involved. Now, no one's saying that that guy is or isn't involved, but I'll guarantee you the guy's alive. I said it the day that those stories came out, 
that he's getting shipped over to a certain place where their flag matched the colors of that temple. And they love to eat bagels day and night. Or, well, they don't, I don't know if they love to eat them, but they sure love to have fronts of uh, bagel businesses, of course, for the same reason that we see all these other things happen where they can launder through those businesses. So here's the story that they're gaslighting people with. Over the past week, thousands of pages of court documents in a linked lawsuit have been unsealed. The documents identify 170 people whose names have come up in a legal battle between two specific people. I can't say their names because of the algorithm, but one of them's last name is Maxwell. His former girlfriend, who in 2021 was convicted of, uh, what's the word here, uh, buying and selling uh, people for, you know, illegal activities, disgusting things that you can't imagine. So roughly 170 associates had names under seal for different reasons. Some were his wealthy friends, some were his victims, and some were people whose names were merely mentioned in passing. They were identified as J. Doe in arguments over whether their names should be made public or remain redacted. So first of all, why don't people just go, well, why are some names allowed and some names not allowed, right? Shouldn't that be something that gets discussed? Oh, because they want to give you these names so that you could try to figure out who it is. So while they're continuing to head us towards civil war, they're using this to bait people into unrest with each other while normalizing this and politicizing Something that shouldn't even be politicized. This would be something that unites every human being on the earth. Does anyone out there disagree with that? This topic of what's what supposedly occurred on that island, which occurs every single day in this country around the world, specifically this country is built on the back of that, and that's what the CIA really does. But the civilians should be uniting over. This isn't something you ever politicize. It's not even, you put everything aside to protect the children. And that's not what's being done. And you see the people out there who claim to be caring about the children, they care more about their political affiliation, which shows you, again, the hive mind of the Republicans is just as much a communist side as it is the Democratic side. So it's a mass, remember, it's global communism is what they're pushing, okay? And they're doing it on both sides. So if you're stuck in the left-right paradigm, you haven't even come close to waking up yet. And if you actually think you're awake, okay, you don't realize that, oh, now you're, everybody's, you know, has anyone out there wondered now why everybody's suddenly a conspiracy theorist? You know, if you've listened to me for years, I'm sure you were, you know, in the beginning, right? When you found my channel, you were like, oh man, okay, this guy's talking about some interesting stuff. Well, now everybody sounds like me, right? In a sense, except that they're keeping you in the left, right? They don't really understand the core of this stuff. They're just getting little information from the all right media. And then they think they know what they're talking about. Now I'm not trying to boast myself, but I'm saying is that it's almost like every single person knows somebody now who's a conspiracy theorist. When we used to talk about these things, it was like, wait, what? Right? So they've watered down this entire movement. And of course, they've herded people because conservatives are now looked at as conspiracy theorists. They want to lump us all into that. So they give you this stuff to give you a little bit of truth, which is the act that these acts actually do occur while giving you a completely fabricated story about people there, people here. How about all the artwork that came out of this, right? Very similar to the stuff that a lot of us uncovered uh, with those that pizzeria place, right? Well, the only difference is that those were up in an actual restaurant that we were all looking at that people could go in there and take pictures of. Whereas in this situation, they just came out and told us that there was pictures of Bill Clinton in a dress. There was pictures of George Bush playing Jenga, right? And they're like, what are they trying to tell us here? I mean, it's pretty obvious what they're trying to do. They're trying to work you and urge you, right? And we know that all of these people are in on it. But if you continue to go down a rabbit hole, nothing ever gets resolved. And that's exactly what they want. So back to the story from Business Insider, Donald Trump is one of the names on the list, according to this Business Insider article. But until now, it wasn't clear which of the nearly 200 does, as enumerated by the U.S. District Judge Loretta Preska in a 50-page list, he actually was. The exhaustive review of the documents by Business Insider points to one no longer anonymous doe who checks all the boxes, doe 174. And deciding whether, <laughs> so he checks all the boxes, he's allowed to be, you know, still anonymous, it's still a John Doe. So all these people out there just spending hours, countless hours, going through all the stuff that describes Doe 174, right? And of course, it could be one of many people. So all you have is that they're going, oh, this guy weighs this, this guy has this color hair. Oh, it's definitely you know who. It's definitely the Donald. The other side, oh, it's definitely Creepy Joe, right? I mean, it's so, it's just one of the most simple psyops you could ever possibly see. And again, just go back to the fact that this island is above ground out in the open where you could drive a boat by and see it. It should make people go, okay, that's a little, that's not very covert, right? The whole list coming out, how they even have these lists, these lists of people who are on the flight log, they would never have thought to destroy that way before ever getting caught. I mean, give me a break. 
give me a break. But these people, you know, they feel like Sherlock Holmes. So, you know, they get fed more and more and more. And now they're so invested in it, they don't want to believe it's a psyop, right? Well, the same thing they call fake news, CNN is putting this as their headline story every day, right? They're not suspicious of that, why they're even covering it as if it's real. Instead of going, oh, the whole thing's... Because whenever, whenever they don't want you to cover it, they just say it's all make-believe. They just go, oh, they're making it up. Uh, it's just some make-believe, debunked theory, right? With this, they're going, well, it's real. So who's on it? Conservatives, liberals, right? Some politicians' names are allowed to be shown. Some aren't, right? That guy Adam Schiff's name appears on there like 100 times. Obviously, you can look at the guy. You know what he's involved in. Just looking at his face. The guy's one of the creepier people you'll ever see in life, right? The you know, course they put on there is they gaslight everyone because what's his role in society? His role is anti-Trumper, anti-MAGA, want to throw Trump in jail. So, of course, it works perfectly for the whole PSYOP with the left-right, does it not? So, uh, the list identifies Doe 174 as a person whose association with that guy on the island and Maxwell has been widely reported in the media already. And his or her name came up during Maxwell's public criminal trial. The former president fits the bill as someone who had a long history with the now dead person, who is not really dead, who said, I wish her well. And again, these people all hide over in that place where the people just very conveniently got through a fence and bombed it. They're all hidden and protected over there. Okay? That's headquarters. It's Intel headquarters. That's why it's amazing that Christians can get duped into supporting a place that just put the name there in 1949 for protection, not because the actual real people reside there. But, you know, this is, this is what we're dealing with now. So it goes back to the story. It says, uh, it says Trump also came out several times during the trial. One of his Mar-a-Lago employees testified about a victim working at Mar-a-Lago. Flight records made public of the, on the trial show Trump flew on the plane with his son Eric. And one victim at the trial said uh, that the guy whose island, who I cannot say, name dropped Trump apparently to demonstrate that he was connected to powerful people. The newly unsealed filings have shed more light on connections to some of the most powerful people in the world. They detail some of his connections to former President Clinton and misconduct accusations against Prince Andrew. Again, these people are all involved in it. There's no question about it, right? But this story is a trap. It's a honeypot. That's what it is, right? You're looking in the wrong direction. I mean, think about from this perspective as well, how you can even talk about this on platforms like YouTube, right? Now watch me somehow get a strike for this, but just because I'm telling you to stay out of this, to telling you that it's fake, I'll probably get one. But how many people out there can talk about this? How about that pizza parlor place? Do you know that you can't even mention that? And if the algo gets wind of it, no matter what you're even saying about it, it'll strike it. Can't even make mention of that. Now you might look at that story and say, well, what about that story? Well, look how that story was the big story. And ever since they created a massive psyop around that, because people were actually exposing the all of the things you could see out in the open, this story popped up. And no one's ever made mention of that pizza place ever again. Or the guy who was behind it, who was a Rothschild. You know, the guy with the curly hair who you can look at and tell what he is. Never mention it again. The only time they mention it is just saying, oh, these poor people, they were a part of a conspiracy and this ruined their business. It's the only time they mention it is like that. Never like, hey, should we actually look into all these things posted on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So then... Well, that story gets completely thrown away. It gets thrown away because all of a sudden this story appears and all the people who are on, you know, involved in that story, like when I was connecting the Clintons, uh, you know, their business fronts on that street, that literally on that street and their association with the guy, he appears on this one. So everybody starts looking in this direction, looking to the right when they should be looking to the left or they should be looking straight ahead. They're looking behind. That's the point. That's the point. Right? So if people actually looked and saw the underground stuff there, the museums, etc., you could see a whole network that leads to all these people, Masonic lodges, all of it. Right? Well, with this story, they it just appeared after that at the same time when they were trying to hide and push that story away and taking down anyone that talked about it. This story appeared. And what happened with this story? Oh, there's a big temple on an island. Suddenly there's logs being released. There's good people. And who who's responsible for for le- uh, leaking it? The same people that came out Right at that time period where we were all exposing the pizza place that starts with the letter Q, right? That person appears. That thing, mystery thing appears, which is, of course, CIA fronted. So they give you a little bit of truth with that, of course. And that's how they lure people into psyops. Again, people don't realize it's like they're not going to give you anything. People might say, well, the pizza thing, how do you know that that's not? Well, we know that that's not because they never expected anybody to decode some of the words and stuff that people were finding. But you could just look. 
just flat out look on your own at their Instagram accounts, at their actual, all the symbols and stuff on the businesses over there and how they were communicating and networking there and how the guy was on a prominent list of the most popular, pe- or richest people, most influential people in Washington, D.C. You guys got a pizza place that makes pizza that looks like complete crap. Right? There was a lot of things. And then clearly the way they responded to that event shows us that there was truth to the event. That's the thing that really you have to look at. They had created a PSYOP so fast. I'll tell you one thing about that because I know everybody out there knows of it now. When that started, I was the only one covering it. Maybe three other people who know, you know, one of them was Jeff, who's no longer here. You know, another guy was Richie, who ended up not believing it. There's a couple other people that covered it and talked about it. Within weeks of covering that, within weeks, they created a false flag at the actual place. Okay, but we were the only ones who were getting hundreds of thousands of views covering the topic, covering it in and out, like, no, not going like, Oh, you know, this is what the government's giving Going through their accounts and stuff that were public. Going through the restaurant, right? Then they brought in guys like Jeff Posebick or whatever his name. All these guys they brought in, they sent there. And then they gained a large following and then started leading people down the island rabbit hole. And then people like us all got dismissed and thrown off the internet, right? That's what they did. They replaced it. They said, look, people, we got to give them something else. People are getting into this. They're starting to realize who we really are. This guy's talking about the occult, secret societies, Alistair Crowler's teachings, the connection with all these celebrities, boom, get rid of him, bring these people in, have them follow down this hole. We'll give them a little bit of truth, telling them, oh, these wicked people do exist. We'll give them guys like Jim Cavazil or whatever his name is, the guy who played Jesus and Passion of the Christ. We'll have them make movies about it, but we'll never mention the actual stuff involving satanic uh, you know, rituals. They'll just say it's Satanism, but they won't actually understand it. They won't actually understand the signs and symbols and how they communicate through these things. And that's where they all went, right? Where well, they're giving you this, oh, an island out in the middle of nowhere, with a huge building that, you know, th- does that seem, and people are just like, they're like, can you believe it? They're doing this on an island. Like, Why wouldn't they just do it underneath? Like they've always been doing, right? Even in the old Testament, you know, there's so many, there's stories of going underground and seeing these rituals before this is exactly what they still do. Exactly what they still do, but they always want you to look in the wrong direction. So back to the story and I'll quit ranting. I just wanted to do a rant on it because I see it trending and I, it does infuriate me, it infuriates me because I desperately want people to wake up, which is why I do this and why I've always done it. But mostly I've always done this because I want to protect children. And I want people, you know, to be aware of who they are, to be, keep their eyes on these people, to, you know, realizing that there's never going to be arrests made against them. All you got to do is read the protocols of the elders of blank, blank, blank. And you know that, you know, in all their books, they talk about controlling the court systems. They're never going to be arrested. And as long as people think of it in that perspective of we got to get them to court, we got to get them to in front of the, you know, into Congress, et cetera, et cetera, then nothing's ever going to be stopped. You might say, well, what are you trying to say? We should do some type of thing. We should go, well, you know, you can't go off of evidence of stuff that they leaked to us, right? But you could follow trails. You could look for things here and there. You could follow a lot of these children that go missing that they never document. Or, you know, a lot of these witches that we know breed these children. But they don't want you to go down any of those holes. They want you to go down this hole. Because if it's politicized, then it works perfectly for them. Because it still plays into the left, right. So again, you know, basically you look at this stuff And you say to yourself, this wouldn't be a main story on CNN. It wouldn't be a main story every night on the talking heads. Jimmy Kimmel wouldn't bring attention to it unless they wanted you to. Because why would you bring attention to this? Why wouldn't you just sweep it under the rug and never make mention of it? And it'll just go away. And just a few people would talk about it. But instead, everybody's into it. It's the big thing. Everyone talks about it, talks about it. Don't think for one second. They don't think for one second that they're being worked. They don't think for one second that all this stuff's coming out on purpose. They're like, no, because they can't. They just can't seem to get out of their own way with these things. Understand this. The news and everything you see creates a simulated reality. The stuff that you see, they want you to see. Period. Period. And like I say, do some stories come out? Yes. Do some of the murder trials and things like that, they get popular? Yeah, they come out, they give you a little distraction here. Do they really happen? Well, in a lot of cases, they're actually CA operatives that do these things. Right, you could see the signs all over the place with a lot of them. Right, I've covered like all these guys from Kaczynski uh, to Gacy. You could see all that stuff. Then you see like a domestic thing, and then it becomes a big story. Everyone gets into that. Well, there's truth to some of those stories, of course. Not as much truth as they'll give you. There's probably even connections to those people in the FBI and the CIA anyway. But nothing gets out there unless they want it out there. Especially something like this, it would be covered up so fast. All you got to do is look at some of the stuff with JFK. All these people are like, oh, when are they going to release the JFK stuff? Oh, they won't release that, but they'll release this. Well, all these people are actually alive and the majority of people involved with JFK and, you know, you can have whatever take you want on JFK with the CIA, et cetera, and his bloodline, the Kennedy bloodline. But the fact that they can get away with saying that that's still sealed, 
But this stuff, oh, we care so much about you at a time period where we're completely controlling the information flow. They completely control the information flow. Right? That's why they say, look what they do to people like us. They don't even let us talk against the narrative. You know, you can only talk about this stuff if you're keeping people in the, in the, you know, the hive mind they want to keep them in. Right? So they control the information flow fully at a time period now where there's nothing that gets out. There's nothing you're allowed to talk about unless they want you to talk about it. But this just gets out. It is front page on CNN. It's front page on NBC. The same places where everyone's like, that's fake news. It's not real news. Oh, but they tell you this. They're like, well, they have to tell you the story's real, but then they politicize it to make it say like Trump's on the list. Oh, do you think that you're being worked? Hello? Hi, anybody in there? You're being played and worked. Take a step back, evaluate your surroundings, take your emotions out of it because we all, they know that people out there who are good soul people want to protect children and want to help expose these criminals, okay? So they're leading you into this and then tying politics into it to infuriate you and keep you in the divide that they want to keep you inside of. So Doe 174, it goes on to say, you know, the name came up in nine different documents that were previously under seal and they had to be redacted as a publication of this article. Three of those documents had not yet been completely un- uh, revealed. It's unclear whether Trump fought to keep his identity under seal in the documents. <laughs> you know, oh, so Trump could keep his name revealed from this document leak, right? But he could be sued for ridiculous, you know, the stuff they tell you that he's being sued for and going to court over are all laughable things, and that's why they that's how they gaslight the conservatives. Because all the stuff that he's getting, you'd be like, what? What's he, he's going to court for this, but all this stuff with Biden taking money and bribes, he doesn't go to court, right? All done by design. So he's going to court for all these things, but somehow he could have his name uh, hidden on this. And that's the gatekeep you. The whole thing's a giant gatekeep. So do, do, re, mi, si, up is uh, the big thing going on today, or at least this week, is do, one, seven, four, of course, Conservatives tweeting that it's Biden or Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Democrats saying it's definitely Trump. So everybody on the left and right believes that the story is real. And then that's how they get you, right? If you can't talk about it, then it's true. You see some of the videos that I get strikes on. You probably say, how's this guy getting a strike on this video? You know, he's talking about a music video, but then he's connecting like some of the stuff you see in the video, whether it's pizza and hot dogs and sauce and stuff like that, because those are things they don't want you to notice in the videos or the things that these celebrities are involved in where you could actually look at the tattoos on their bodies, et cetera. They want you in their psyops only. And if you come, if you're not in their psyops and you actually expose stuff, they won't let you do it. So this story, obviously for anyone common sense is controlled, but I wanted to do a video. I saw Doe 174. I'm like, I see it trending. And then I just see what it's about. I'm like, I just cannot believe that people fall for this stuff. And then exactly like I said earlier with the stuff with the pizza place, right? All these alt-right people hijack that movement. Everybody who was actually going through the bands, the documents of, of just stuff we were seeing, we're like, whoa, did you see this? Did you see what band played there? Did you see this weird thing? The sounds, the little stuff that were coming out of the place at night, how it was open, and all this stuff, the pictures in the White House that are posted on Instagram because that nobody would have known about, right? And then suddenly this whole movement takes over. That's the creation of the alt-right was right then. Jeff C. was covering it and warning people about it at the time. And look what it's turned into now. Everybody in the all right is covering this. They're like, they don't want you to know that. Today on the show, we're talking about dough. We're talking about this. We're talking about that. They don't want you to know it's Joe Biden. Ah, get angry. Get mad. Do nothing about it. Perfect. Perfect. As long as you stay doing that, they win. And that's what they're doing. They're winning because they're keeping people in the left-right paradigm. I thank everybody for being here. I hope you're all doing well. God bless all of you, as always, and your families.